is uh, interesting when, when you live here. <laughs> it's, uh, you start to absorb a lot of fucking local color. And uh, it's interesting. I mean, we're just traveling back here. Like when I was, I came back from Texas. And uh, when you check at the airport, like coming back, like they automatically assume when you're going to Vegas, like what's your final destination? It's like Las Vegas. They're like, ooh, fun. I'm like, no, home. <laughs> and, uh, it's like, it, I, don't, I don't give a shit anymore, lady. It's, uh, it's just my, yeah, I'm just going to my fucking house. I, uh, <laughs> You know, but I understand I'm in the minority with that because, you know, you, like, you know, like, when you touch down, like, when, when the plane lands there, it fucking, like, people lose their shit. Like, woo, yeah! Like, are you fucking serious right now? Like, like what are you wooing? We're at baggage claim. What are you fucking wooing about? Like, I'm sick of staring at this fucking turnstile. Shut the fuck up. Like, woo, fuck off. Like, uh, but yeah, it, you know, Vegas is uh, it's, it's an interesting place. I mean, like, I like the wise guys to say it's one of the only businesses it, on, in this stretch that the employees wear clothes. Uh, it's uh, everything's so fucking naked around here, isn't it? I mean, live nude girls, live nude dudes, live nude fucking Arby's and shit. <laughs> it's fucking like what? Eh. You know, like like there's even a place down the street. It's uh, uh, the, the the erotic heritage museum. Is there really a fucking audience for that shit? You know, it's like, it's like, well, I'm a pervert, but I'd like to get more history on the subject. You know, I mean, I wanna, I wanna find out what dildos were like before plastic. You know, I, uh, it, it, a lot of, a lot of pioneers taking fucking splinters for us people. It's, uh, it's fucking weird shit, man. It is. It's you know, I, I mean. I mean, the reason I live here now is, uh, you know, I, I, I had my own show at Harris up until uh, 2020. And, uh, you know, I mean, it, it's some of the shows they have here really makes you wonder, like, who exactly is your clientele? <laughs> like, I always see ads for, I've never seen a show, I always see ads for a show called Zombie Burlesque. <laughs> if there's no other burlesque shows available, <laughs> and, <laughs> and you just got to see tits that bad, I can see, like, all right, let's go to the zombie. <laughs> with all the, but with all the other burlesque shows that are here, who's out there going, no, I want the one with the dead bitches in it. That's the one I want. I'm, I'm so sick of live strippers. That's so played out. I, I hate when they look like they're breathing. I, I mean, it's, it's just, they should just arrest everybody who comes to that show. Hey, can I see your ID? Yep. Hey, come with us. You're fucking dangerous. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't, I don't want you running around out there without a chaperone or anything. So, uh, it's fucking weird shit, man. It's, uh, you know, but it, it, it's, it's, uh, yeah, this is, um, well, they always seem to be doing something to try to make it more family friendly, too. They, like, because I, I didn't notice that until a few years ago, like when they started, uh, like on the strip, they always had the Disney characters. <laughs> you know, like the, the, the Mickey, Minnie, Donald Duck. The, they didn't exactly make the cut of fucking Z Disneyland, did they? I, 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 it's more like Mickey's degenerate brother, Mucky Mouse, is out there or some shit. Like, I remember the first time we saw him, I was with my daughter. We're at a crosswalk. I see him over there. It's crazy how you look at it differently, too, because you see Mickey Mouse at Disneyland or Disney World, you react completely differently. Like, oh, look, it's Mickey Mouse. Go give him a hug. Let's take a picture. You see Mickey Mouse anywhere but Disneyland? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, oh, look, it's Mickey Mouse. Stay right here. Uh, what the fuck is he doing here? And don't get me wrong, I always respect the fact the guys are out there hustling, wearing Mickey Mouse costumes, taking pictures with tourists, trying to make money for crack. <laughs> but you get up close, you realize that Mickey Mouse costume's got some fucking mileage on it, doesn't it? <laughs> got like a footprint on his cheek and shit. Like, what are you, what are you doing in your Mickey Mouse costume after work, dude? You, you do take it off, right? I mean, you don't go buy crack in your Mickey Mouse costume, do you? That'd be a bad move. <laughs> Oh, you got some rock? Just seems like a bad business move. It's kind of your bread and butter, right? I'll make you feel good, Mickey. <laughs> it's weird shit, but uh, <laughs> maybe you'd like to come to the Erotic Heritage Museum. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's weird shit, man. It's uh, it is, but, but yeah, this, this is uh, this is where I live. Um, I love coming to Wise Guys, man. Uh, it's it's a uh, it's great that we have a we have a club like this in town. It is it really is. It's, um, 
You know, I, I, I uh, thank you guys for coming out and supporting live comedy because, you know, I mean, being a comedian, it's, I've been doing it for 25 years, and uh, it's, yeah, yeah, I got shit else to do. I, uh, I, um, but it, yeah, it, it, but it's never been more fucking dangerous, huh? You know, it, it's, it can be fucking hazardous to be a stand-up comedy, even if you host the fucking Oscars. Uh, what the fuck is that? That still pisses me off. I, I, you know, I mean, because not only did I mean he, he fucking he he tells a joke, guy and fucking Will Smith walks up, slaps him, and sits back down, and everybody just watched. <laughs> it was like, oh man, I bet that fucking hurt, and. Uh, I mean, nobody reprimanded him, nobody arrested him. The worst thing, like, I can't imagine being Chris Rock. I mean, not only did they not fucking have him arrested, they gave him a fucking trophy later. And I, I mean, it's like, it's like, come on back up here. Yeah, it, I still got a handprint on my fucking face from you. But, uh, I mean, really? Like, why? It, it, it's like, come on. You know, it, it, keep my wife's name out your mouth. Shut the fuck up, all right? I mean, buy your wife a hat and shut the fuck up. Uh, you know, really? <laughs> Sitting in the front row looking like Sam Cassell in a fucking prom dress, and you gotta, and you're, oh, really? He said something? Wow, that's a fucking surprise. <laughs> fucking dicks. Because <laughs> um, I had that shit happen to me. It was a few years ago. It was, uh, it was right after uh, 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 Trump got elected. I, 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 made a, I told a joke about Trump. Some lady threw a fucking glass at me. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what are you, his mom? Like, why, why are you that upset? <laughs> like, I'm sure wherever he is right now, he's defending you, lady. I, you know, I mean, it's like, but I mean, the joke I told it wasn't even that bad. Yeah, I was talking about uh, architecture, how maybe architecture's kind of lost on me, how maybe I don't appreciate it as much as I should, because uh, I had just come back from St. Louis, and I was talking about the St. Louis Arch. You know, it's, it's a nice arch, but... <laughs> it's a fucking arch. I mean, it looks like somebody set out to make a really big McDonald's, and then they're like, ah, fuck it, I'm bored. You want to go home? And, uh... And then I was talking about the Washington Monument, how it's always fascinated me to think that somebody got paid to design that. Somebody toiled for weeks, months, years. Came back with, all right, finally, I got Washington Monument. You ready? <laughs> Giant cement fucking pencil, what do you think? And I said, I realize a lot of people think the design looks like a dick, but I thought they were reserving that for Trump's monument. And uh, she started throwing shit, so... Uh, <laughs> And, yeah, she was like, keep my president's name out your fucking mouth. And, uh, <laughs> I did. <laughs> Thanks for letting me hang out. You guys have been great. We won't care. We won't care. We won't care. We won't care.